what's going on guys tk back with another video so today i'm going to teach you guys how to get zero ivs in your stats when breeding but before i do that i want to give you a reminder to you know like the video subscribe leave a comment it really helps me out i really appreciate all the support i've been getting in the pokemon content lately so um, it motivates me to keep doing guides and videos for you guys so i appreciate all the support but without further ado let's jump into the video okay so the reason you want to breed for certain zero IVs is because there are moves, there are attacks and, and moves in the game that uh, affect these individual values very heavily in competitive Pokemon. For example, this Armor Rouge, okay? I had to breed this Armor Rouge to get the zero. When you see no good, that means it has zero in the stat, in the IV. So I have zero speed IVs and I have zero attack IVs. The reason I want zero attack IVs is because there's an attack in this game called foul play. Okay, you see that you kind of see this commonly on on support mods like uh, Umbreon, Amoongus, things like that. These this attack deals damage depending on how much attack the opponent has. So let's say you're fighting a Garchomp and the and the, he he like Swords Dance like two times. Well now he's plus four in attack. So a foul play will pretty much one shot him, right? Because he has so much attack juiced. That the foul play the foul play doesn't care about the individual who's using it it only care about the stat um of the opponent it's it's attacking so the reason you want this on armor is because you're not even using his attack stat you're using his special attack stat right so what you want to do is optimize and make sure when you get hit by foul play especially since he's a psychic type he's weak to dark you want to make sure he's he's taking minimum damage from foul play okay now this might seem niche but like i said in the video before this it could be a make or break in tournament so you want to make sure everything is optimized even if it might it might not even come up but you want to be prepared for that just in case it does come up you'll thank yourself just in case it does come up you'll thank yourself later okay um and the reason i want no good on this armor rouge in particular is because i'm running him in a trick room team so trick room is a move that once the room is set slower pokemon are now faster than fast pokemon for like five turns right it's a five turn um field effect so the reason i want no good i want to make sure he's minced speed. i want to make sure he has the lowest speed possible no speed ivs and no speed evs right i want to make sure he's slow because i'm I, I plan on utilizing him under that under that trick room effect so now let me teach you how to breed this because you know it, it could be a it could be a bit of a grind depending on what you're trying to get so for this example i'll do indeedy my armor rouge is done so i want to pair armor rouge with an indeedy female who gets follow me um helping hand like a support indeedy the male one is usually like offensive and the male one doesn't get like follow me but the male one actually gets trick room but um for armor rouge i want to support him with the female indeedy the reason this one can be a little difficult is because this when i'm breeding for zero ivs here i i need the hidden ability okay so some pokemon you don't need to worry about the hidden ability like gyarados and stuff like that you might be breeding and you know i mean him you really don't you don't really care about zero ivs but anyway you need to what you need to do is you need to make sure the female has the hidden ability because the female pokemon is the one who's going to breed down in that line so let's say i'm breeding indeedy with someone who's not indeedy right like another thing in the egg group the female of those two is going to be the one who, who whose evolution line you get right so since the female indeedy i will always get it indeed i will always get it indeedy as an offspring if even if this even if the male isn't an indeedy right this could be like a ditto or whatever right but the female also has a 60% chance to pass down the hidden ability. The male cannot pass down the hidden ability. Only the female can. The female passes down the ball, so the luxury ball, and the hidden ability at a 60% chance. So the female is the most important when it comes to like the offspring, okay? So for this example, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys right here. I'm going to take Iron Valley out of my party. I'm going to show you guys how to get that. Um, oh, let me, let me show real quick. So for this example, I'm trying to get the male's no good speed iv okay because my female might have the the hidden ability but the female has best in attack and best in speed what i'm trying to do is take away that attack and speed but for now i'm gonna show you guys how to get the no speed so the male what i'm trying to do is get the no speed from the male so what i do is i give the male oh you remember them power items before for evs well this also affects ivs in the breeding process so what i need to do i'm trying to get the no good speed iv from the male guarantee from from at uh from the offspring so what i do is i give it a power anklet right this is the one that's going to give me the speed the speed iv is going to guarantee the speed iv from the male okay so now what i do is i set up a picnic okay oh you guys gonna learn today you guys getting all the information hope you're taking notes hope you're taking notes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a sandwich i'm gonna make a sandwich oh yeah i'm gonna make a jam sandwich because this one gives me 
uh, the egg power that I need so it can like, you know, give me eggs. Because unfortunately, um, since it's in DD, I need the hidden ability and I need it to be female. So I have a lot of eggs to, to sift through. So we gonna make a jam sandwich. This, this, this is a struggle sandwich right here. Who eating this in real life? I, man, I, I'm putting three strawberries and a loaf of bread. Man, this, is a, this is a struggle sandwich. But we gonna make it gourmet, we'll put the pick on it. You know, we gonna eat it and then we gonna get the egg power. Okay, so now that I have the egg power, what I need to do now is wait. You have to click this basket at every now and then and you'll, it'll pop out eggs. Unfortunately, like there's no indicator. <laughs> so you just gotta like wait it out. But for this video, I'm gonna do like, like I said, and Didi is a red is a very hard one because not only do I need to get the hidden ability, I need to make sure it's female as well. So and Didi is a pretty a pretty difficult one, but um, I'll do about five eggs and I should be able to, I should be able to get it. I you know just show the gist of how to, how this works in the video. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's grab these eggs. We got one, two, three, oh, four. Oh, they going to they going to town. Five. I I grab them all. Six. Uh, seven. Oh, eight. They getting busy. All right, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the eggs in my. Obviously, I can only do five at a time because you gotta have one Pokemon with you at all times. You know, all the wild Pokemon are gonna get you. You know, that's what they teach you in the first room. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm not sure. Now remember, in past generations, you could use a, a Pokemon with the ability Flame Body. I'm not 100% sure that's still a thing in this game. It probably is, but like I said, I, I don't want to give y'all information that I don't know about. So if, if somebody could let me know if Flame Body still works. But before, if you had a Pokemon in the lead with Flame Body and a whole bunch of eggs, it would hatch the eggs faster. Flame Body is an, is an ability. Like Volcarona gets it, Tall and Flame get it, I believe. Um, since I'm already doing a video, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I don't even know if I have those mods. I mean, I have them, but whatever. What I like to do is run around. Somebody confirm it for me. But I'm going to run around this circle and I'm going to hatch all the eggs and then I'll show y'all uh the spoils so um i'll be right back okay now that i have all the ndds let's check the spoils so unfortunately like i got like i said ndd is a hard one so i got three males and two females but as you can see as you can see look at look i got it right so psychic surge the two different terror types too which is nice but uh <laughs> i'll just choose this one but you see how the female passed down the luxury ball and it also passed down the hidden ability and then since I had the bracer or the ankle, excuse me, on the male NDD, what I did was I guaranteed took his no good sp uh, speed IV. So now what I do is I take, I find, um, I find another male in the same egg group, right? And I use another, I use this female NDD or this one. And then what I do is I find another male in the egg group or another NDD or whatever that, and then that has no good attack. And then I give him a power bracer. And then what I do is I do the same thing. Now I use this one to breed with that one. And then I pass down the no good attack IV. Then I have the no good attack and I have the no good speed. And then there, therefore I have my perfect Pokemon. Then I can start bottle, bottle capping the other stats and training and EV training and all that stuff. But I got the psychic surge, which I wanted. And I got the no good speed IV. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Um, so yeah, if you learned something today, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Peace.